first of all, let me say good afternoon to all of you and the whole the people of Northern Ghana. Uh, we are today on a working visit to inspect this sports facility or the sports tamale the Ali Mama Sports Stadium. And I'm um, not the work, uh, the maintenance is something that we have to uh, uh, work on. Uh, the regional director have briefed me that this project uh, have 10 years lifespan for major renovations to be done. And that's why, that's the essence of this working visit, to see the challenges that this facility is going through so that we can uh, renovate it. Uh, we started a major renovation works across Ghana. We started with the Accra Sports Stadium. The first phase, second phase, third phase is done and completed, satisfied. We've moved to Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumasi. The renovation works, the first phase is done. Second phase, contractor is just about to move to site. We are also currently working on the Esipon Sports Stadium. The first phase is done. Second phase is being worked on for the contractor to go and make sure that they complete it. And you know the Esipon Sports Stadium and this sports stadium, the architecture is the same. The materials are the same. But because of the nature of the sea, because the facility is close to the sea, that's why we started it because most of the metal were just rusting. So, but here, at least we can't see that everything is still intact. But there is still need for us to do major renovation here as well. So we are going to, once we finish, we will compile a report, and the report will form a basis for the renovations works to, to be carried on. And uh, I also want to appeal to the workers here that this facility has to be maintained very well because this is the only major facility that we have for the entire five uh, uh, northern regions. And if we mismanage it and we don't maintain it well, and then they won't have any such facility again to, to use to, for our sporting at, uh, activities. So we want to appeal to them. We know they are doing their best under the very difficult circumstances, but it's just an appeal to them that whatever is here, they should manage it as if it is their personal property, because if it is your personal property, you won't let it to deteriorate. So that's my appeal to them. How soon are we likely to see the commencement of the renovation? We can't itself? give them timelines, because I said the report that will be gathered here will form the basis for the, 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 uh, the renovation. Once we get there, it's all going to form. We have to write to finance to get commencement certificate to ensure that we have funding to be able to do that. Until all the funding issues are secured, the procurement process are done, you can't give timelines. Yes, I know that under the current leadership of the Director General, there have been a number of uh, staff who have been recruited and they are here. I'm here to uh, meet the, the Director for us to sit down and say, but so far I'm satisfied with the numbers here. There is still more room for more people to come. And once uh, the, and the resources are not unlimited, you understand. The, the, there is limit, uh, limited to resources. So once, uh, we do, once we get more money, we'll make sure that we get more people employed. But the, the few who are here should be able to still maintain the facility. Yes, it, it has come to my attention, and that is why we are here to inspect the facility. But we also know that we have our own uh, gen set here, but I will engage uh, the National Sports Authority to see what we can do to bring back the, the, the light to the facility. Oh, well, the Yendi multipurpose uh, facility has current work has currently been installed over there. Have you, has it come to your notice? And I visited there. I was with the president and we visited that facility. Uh, the first phase, I'm, uh, I'm told, is completed and the, the contractor, the second phase contractor has been prepared to come and go on. So work is going to be completed on the Yendi uh, Youth Resource Center. And the Yendi Youth Resource Center is a, a part of the 10 youth resource centers that we are doing. Currently, when you go to Kofodia, uh, Adaklu, you go to Azim, you go to Dunkwa Ofen, all these facilities are being worked on. And why? So once these first phase, five of them, the second phases are done, the next five second phase will also be uh, worked on and they will be put into good use. We have already we already have a maintenance timetable for all facilities. We have maintenance manual, and the maintenance is not something that you should it should be it should take time. There's a maintenance manual for all the facilities, and we expect those managing the facility to adhere to the maintenance manual. So we are done with the English.